Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers Upgrade review. Thanks to the guys over at DNA Designs. Today I'm taking a look at the DK04M. This is the Metroplex Foot Upgrade Kit. This is for all three versions of Metroplex and aimed at ages 16 and up. The box is very simplistic uh, with just the pictures of the contents on the rear and it's nice and small as well so it should be cheap to ship. Out of the box we have all of these lovely additional parts. We actually get new springs and cogs for Metroplex's hips. I wasn't actually aware that we were going to get those. I thought it was just the foot and ankle tilt, but actually we get the whole section there to actually <laughs> allow Metroplex to stand without his joints giving way. And we also get loads of these little plugs to plug into Metroplex's forearms. Now, as this is an upgrade kit, you will require a tool. You just need a crosshead screwdriver and the joint that we're trying to tackle it is not the forwards motion, it's the one out to the side. Basically, we've got all of this range. One, two, <laughs> and it just collapses down. As you can see, we have three screws on each leg. You need to undo all three screws, and it basically separates the thighs. Now, I warn you now, these screws are factory tight, so they are incredibly stiff. Right, remove your thigh piece. You have these three pieces inside the thigh, and we're going to get rid of all three of those. I'm going to put them in a box just in case I decide to restore him to his original state, but we do get the replacement for all three of these parts. Here are the replacement parts. Uh, for starters, they're actually in keeping with <laughs> Metroplex's color scheme. Uh, they're very solid, and there's a lot of extra teeth on those for the articulation. I mean, for example, just compare the two. That's a big difference. So to start off, you've got this one here with the grooves inside. That is going to sit on there like so. We thread the lower leg through the thigh piece. We want to put the spring over the top. We then put the new joint in there and that's going to slide down inside that thigh like so when we compress it up. And we can now bring in the back piece of that thigh and we're going to join the screws together let's just line everything up right that's all lined up I'm now going to screw this all back together but unfortunately I will require both hands got look at that Okay, so we're happy that that thigh joint has definitely improved. Uh, you've definitely got the additional notches on that ratchet really do make a world of difference. The next part is to replace the side pod sections on this foot. And to do so, you have to unscrew all of these screws on the runway piece. Now we're gonna have to change over the toes because they're part and parcel of the ankle tilt. piece just lifts away let's take a look at this foot piece slide this off like this and then we can detach these and these are the new ones very close color match there but vastly different as you can see and we get two types of pegs in this set we get the short ones which go in the arms and we get these longer pegs which we just pop in the top and the bottom section and this is now where we can 
slide this into that gap. So we're left with a foot panel like this. Uh, the white isn't exactly the same, but that might be because my Metroplex has been on display for a couple of years. I'll attach it into these slots so the foot now sits just underneath. And now this is going to reattach on here. And when we do these screws up, that's just gonna seal that new piece of foot into place. Once those are all done up, we can then fold this piece back over. We can now bring in the helipad stroke feet section. We actually get some pads which go on here as well, so you won't damage any of the actual helipad section because it won't be touching the actual ground. Bring in the toe plate. That's just gonna slide on at the end. And there's these tabs on the base here. We're going to slide this in. And then push this piece inwards. Right, and here we have him wearing his funky sneakers. Uh, now, the biggest problem I had with this was just changing out this section. Uh, you have to line these kind of tabs inside the grooves and then push it all together and you really need three hands to do it but uh, other than that it all went pretty smoothly I believe I've installed everything correctly now like I mentioned my Metroplex is slightly off-white now and these are quite a pristine white if anything they could do with maybe a dark wash over them look even my stickers are starting to come off poor Metroplex <laughs> he's in better days he's been to Canada and back um, Poor guy, he's still standing strong though. Now the main point in this set is to give you articulation in those legs. So we can now, using that newly installed ratchet, we can just move them out slightly. And then the feet pivot. So we've got a nice wide stance there. And we can use the next ratchet along there. And we can pivot those sneakers down. And again, we've got a nice wide stance there. We can then use the next pivot, the next ratchet. Where are we there? I think we're kind of getting to the end. Ah, oh, still, that's that's not that's not bad. I mean, that's definitely something I wouldn't have been able to do with Metroplex uh, had I not have uh, installed this add-on kit. And we also get these nice foam strips that you can apply to the underside of the helicopter bay. That helps with his stability and it also stops us damaging the underside of these foot panels. Right, this is where we get to see the product's versatility. When we get Metroplex into his battle station mode, you want to take the foot pad. It comes off just as it went on. You just pull in the opposite direction. This panel here, flips up like this and you see this hole and this hole this is where we use those five mil pegs that we had in the set you bring in your base piece that just pushes over like so you then want to fold it up and bring that all the way over then close this piece off and there we have Metroplex in his battle station mode. That's nice. Uh, they make very good helicopter pads. Uh, to be honest with you, I can't imagine a huge amount of you guys out there are going to display your Metroplex in his battle station mode. But it's nice that they've taken that into consideration when delivering the product. And last but not least, we have Metroplex in his city mode. Uh, the only downside to having him in this mode, uh, and this is only because it's a personal preference, is I've had to remove the Unique Toys cannons because it uses the other side of the arm in this mode, mainly because we bend the rear elbow like that. But that, that's literally it. You know, they've made good use of these helipads, but all in all, the plastic quality are very good. The color match is pretty spot on. It's a little bit pristine, as I mentioned earlier on, but that is literally me uh, nitpicking. I like that they've made good use of these. I like that they've included these kind of foam pads as well to stop him slipping and tripping in his robot mode. And yes, these do look nice as helipads, 
but it is of course the feet and an ankle tilt upgrades for Metroplex. That's how he's gonna be displayed. He's gonna be displayed in his bot mode and he's gonna be able to strike a pose that's been three years in the making. This set is highly recommended. It's on a scale of one to 10, probably a difficulty level of five or six. It's not drastic, but you do have to have patience when switching over those joints. Uh, they are the only difficult part about this. The feet were relatively easy to adjust, uh, just a matter of undoing those inner screws. But the actual thigh joints themselves, they did take a little bit of patience just to get them perfectly square before we seal up those thighs. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little notification button which allows you to be notified every time I upload more awesome content. Until next time from myself and the Metroplex upgrade kit from DNA. Thanks for watching. Ah, goodbye.